Hi folks, and welcome back to the Star Wars Library, where Star Wars is in print. And we're continuing on through the Marvel Comics series. We're almost done. We're in the uh, 90s, and so we're getting very, very close to the end. Which is kind of crazy. We've been doing this for almost, well, no, over a year now. So anyways, we're going to be talking about one issue, and uh, it's issue 93. And of course, you can still uh, find it in our Wookiee World Trade, Volume 6 by Dark Horse. This is still what we're going through. And the issue we're talking about today is number 93. Kind of a strange cover there. Um, and it says, For what you have done to my people, you must die. And of course, the blaster is at Han Solo and Luke Skywalker. So this one is by Mary Jo Duffy. And it's kind of a weird story that came out back in 1984 of November. And uh, takes place on Saijo. But the majority of this story is actually on Cantro 7. So it starts off with these X-Wings being attacked as you can see right here. And, um, but they're being attacked by Y-Wings. What? Um, yeah, they're being attacked by Y-Wings. Um, so our heroes, uh, being Han, Luke, and Leia, they're in the Millennium Falcon. And, um, and they blast at these attackers, you know, to try and stop them. They end up going after them and they blast them down. Uh, Luke and Leia are in the gunner seats there and so they blast them and um blast them down and uh it's a uh, cantrosian species um are the attackers and it kind of refers to um or they refer to the empire as strong uh and these are like these cat creatures right there um which are a little strange they um you know like oh yeah these monsters these these um you know, this empire and all that. They're, they're referring to them as very strong. Again, I'm apparently not getting the memo that, um, you know, the New Republic is beginning to form. And the empire really isn't much um, as what it was. And so um, they go to the planet and they realize that, um, that they think, well, they think that the rebels are the empire and that their side is the good guy. Um, both sides are basically played by Dern. And so... You know, Luke's like, what's going on? Like, how would, how, this makes no sense. Both sides, ah. Well, we're going to have to find out later. So, it's a very quick story. There's really not much to it. Um, it's a very, you know, like I said, it's a very odd story with these cat creatures. Um, you know, and again, it kind of just, kind of just abruptly ends. Kind of, I don't know, it feels like there could have been more to that ending. It's just kind of a quick... You know, Luke's like, well, I'll feel a lot better if we can just find out who Dern was really working for, what's going on in this galaxy, and then that's the end of the issue. You know, he's kind of uh, that whole, you know, what's going on and kind of thing. Um, you know, so here's the thing, you know, with this story, it's a short little story, issue number 93 of this Marvel series. Is this an essential read? Uh, no. No, it is not. It is not an essential read at all for your Expanding Universe uh, readings or anything like that. Um, if you are so inclined, I guess, sure. But honestly, you're really not going to, you know, miss anything if you skip it. It doesn't really tie into anything really in the uh, later Marvel series. And it's, it, again, it's just an oddity. So if you choose to skip it, totally your call. So folks, it's a short episode today, but we will see you next time with another episode of the Star Wars Library. And may the Force be with you.